this is the thing that Habitat for Humanity is all about, eh? It's recognizing what a community of good neighbor helping people can accomplish when they work together and then celebrating the results, sharing in the joy of the families who are becoming new homeowners. Let's open this afternoon's ceremony with uh, a welcome and a prayer from Arthur Davies. Arthur is the chairman of the Habitat for Humanity PEI Board of Directors. Well, good afternoon. I, w I was asked if I could be here today, but most of all, could I make sure we have a, a wonderful sunny afternoon? So I've delivered on my part, <laughs> and um, I'm just overwhelmed with the number of people here. This is, this is unbelievable. It just says so much about uh, how people have got the spirit of Habitat. And it's the spirit of Habitat that we need to get, because that's what helps and motivates us to reach out to help others. And this is just wonderful. Just, just great to have you here. Let's just have a word of prayer first, shall we? Let's pray. I'm again, gracious God, what a wonderful day. And we just want to thank you, dear God, for allowing us to be here this afternoon. We come as family and as friends, we come mindful of uh, Habitat and all that it does, not just here in PEI, but uh, not just in Canada, but throughout the world. And the way we, we look to, to support families and, and be one with them and walk with them and, uh, and help them get along their way. And uh, we just want to thank you for your inspiration, for the volunteers and um, the families themselves. And uh, what wonderful families we have, dear God, and the commitment that they've given of themselves. And uh, we just want to thank them, dear God, for, for all that they are. And thank you for the way that you've blessed them and blessed uh, all those who have helped so far. We also, dear God, want to, want to thank you for, for, for the, 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 the volunteers and the incredible volunteers, uh, not just uh, throughout the build, but throughout the year who volunteer to do various things for Habitat to make sure that we can continue to, to grow and, and, and prosper and, and, and be there for, for, for families uh, who need uh, our kind of assistance. So we ask that you bless each and every one of them and, uh, and as we gather today to, to celebrate uh, two homes and um, we just pray to you God that you, you just gather with us and just uh, reach out and, and let people know how important um, they all are to you and that you would bless the homes they're about to, to, to live in and share with families. So, so just come and gather us all together we pray in the name of the Christ. Amen. It's hard to imagine back in 1976, I think it was, when Millard uh, um, Fuller and his wife decided to, they wanted to do something to help people change their situation around housing and uh, got some ideas together and, uh, in, and then eventually we have Habitat and it's just uh, become such an incredible organization around the world. And uh, here in, in Canada, I think seven, um, 1985, something like that, that um, the, we've, we've provided 10 million hours of volunteer work. 10 million hours of volunteer work in Canada. Isn't that incredible? Just, just, just unbelievable. It just says that it tells us about the quality of the families we have and that they're supporters and, um, and uh, we just pray that uh, God will continue to bless each and every one of you. We've done, I think, uh, 35, 37, 38 homes uh, on PEI. That's quite a feat too, isn't it? And that says a lot about PEI and who we are. In fact, we're one of the highest uh, performers to, to build houses per capita across Canada. And uh, so I think all, everyone on PEI should just uh, give themselves a little clap and say, uh, you know, we've got a really good sense of uh, commitment, a good sense of family, a good sense of what is right, and uh, and I think we do. And so I want to welcome you all here and uh, enjoy uh, the time together and uh, just celebrate what is an incredible feat for us today. Thank you. Uh, the family liaisons are people who work with the family right from the beginning of their application and sort of I don't know, shepherd them through the process and afterwards as well. So, Sherry and Allison, come on up, will you? 
Well, this is a great day indeed. And I want to tell you a little bit about the little process that, that happened. Um, Sherry Wade submitted an application to Habitat for Humanity, PEI, in February, way back in February of 2011. And Sherry Chislett and I have been working together towards this day ever since that time. When we first met Sherry, admired her paintings, she's a wonderful painter, met her dogs, looked at her plant forest, we were so impressed with her determination and her work ethic. When Sherry sets her mind to do something, well, you just gotta watch out. So we met Connor and Chanel later on, and we heard all about Shana out west. We had already reviewed this financial information. Thus, when Sherry Chislett and I drove home that night, we had made up our minds that we were going to present Sherry and this family to the board. From then until today, we have had many chats, we shared many dreams, we watched hearts break, and we tried to do what we could to make, this, to make certain this family will be safe, comfortable, proud, and determined. So now, Sherry Chislett is going to introduce to you this wonderful family. I was going to start at, uh, with our youngest, but I think he might be a little uncomfortable coming up by himself. So let's start with Sherry Wade, um, the mother uh, of this family. <laughs> And uh, now I'll ask Connor to come forward. Where is Connor? I saw him a little while ago. There he is. <laughs> Connor's the man of this household. And uh, I'm not sure he appreciates living with so many women. <laughs> I also think Connor's grown a whole foot since I first met him back in February of 2011. Have you, Connor, a whole foot? Probably. <laughs> um, the next one I'd like to call up is Chanel. Chanel's here. And last but not least, of course, Shana. first presented uh, Sherry's family for approval to the board. We were um, asking for approval for a three-person family, but now we have a four-person family and we're very happy that it's four. I like even numbers, I can't help it. Anyway, the Wade, Connor, Cro oh, sorry, Wade, Crosby, Con Conway family. <laughs> and here they are. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, two years ago, when uh, Janelle put in her application in 2010, I was a family uh, liaison member and a board member, but due to family commitments, I had to back down last fall. So uh, I am very pleased, though, that I was able to follow through with this file until today. Uh, first of all, I would like to congratulate both families on their new houses that they are being dedicated today. Um, I'm calling them houses for a purpose because they themselves will make those houses into a home when they move in and put their personal things in there and make it their own space where they will feel they belong. That's when it will become a home and uh, that's the way I feel. But at this time, I have uh, a wonderful opportunity to introduce Janelle and her family 
as they be, uh, get their home today. I'll ask Janelle to come up and Destiny and Jaden. <laughs> There is also a boy, Brandon, but he is uh, away in Nunavut um, with the Army, and he's not with us today. So we also welcome Brandon, for sure, to their new home. Thanks, folks. Once we get a picture of you, you can actually relax. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Cynthia. We're going to do a little bit of symbolism right now. We need the help of Jaden. She gets to come back up here. And we need the help of Connor. They're going to light candles. This is kind of a nice piece of symbolism because candles stand for hope, right? And the symbolism better work, Connor, because <laughs> very wicked. Um, the symbolism of hope is very appropriate. One of the slogans of Habitat for Humanity, of course, is building homes, building hope. Thank you very much to Connor and to Jaden for starting us off that way with lighting the candle. For many homes, a Bible is an essential fitting, and the Canadian Bible Society presents a Bible to each homeowner. So on behalf of the Canadian Bible Society, the PEI district, we'd like to present you with a, a Bible for your family. I'm gonna look that way for a second, Jerry. Over there, over there. Janelle, again on behalf of the Canadian Bible Society, I'd like to present you with this Bible for your family. Check the way out. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Evelyn. A lot of people have made these homes possible, and we're going to thank some of them. I'm sorry we do it as a group rather than individually, but can I ask Sue Zambonin, who is Executive Director of Habitat PEI, to come and thank the major sponsors. As Rob said, it takes a lot of people to make uh, Habitat House possible. We're going to be thanking all the volunteers um, and the the contractors and that sort of thing, but we'd also like to thank the people who give us the money. Uh, without them, we wouldn't be able to build any of our homes. So I want to start with our, our major sponsor. Our major sponsor happens to be the Habitat families that we've built for in the past. Every month they make their mortgage payment and that money is then used to build more houses. So this year we will have raised approximately $120,000 from families that we've built for in the last 15 years. So those are our major sponsors who help pay it forward. Next we have the Habitat Restore. The Restore um, accepts new and used building supplies, household materials, furniture, appliances, and they sell them to raise money for Habitat. And we use that money to first pay our operating expenses, and then we use it to actually pay for the materials for houses. Next, we have the RBC Foundation, and I'd like to thank Kevin Darling. I'm not sure where you are, Kevin. If you could wave, there's Kevin. Kevin is the Regional Vice President of Commercial Financial Services with the Royal Bank. And they've been a sponsor of Habitat for the last two years, as well as a number of years in there as well, back a little farther. 
David Hennessy, are you here today, David? David Hennessy is with the United Way of PEI, and I'd like to thank David. We have received funding from the United Way this year, and we will receive funding next year and in 2014. So we have three years funding from the United Way of PEI. The province of Prince Edward Island has always been very supportive of Habitat, helping with land, uh, money, waiving fees. We don't pay any um, uh, service fees. We get a discount on our, some of our land, a grant in lieu of taxes, sorry, better use the right terminology. Don't want uh, the finance minister to come after me. And we have the Honorable Alan McIsaac here representing the province. Thank you, Alan. And last but not least, uh, we have Mark Rod, who is the President and CEO of Rod Hotels and Resorts. And I'm going to let Mark say a few words. And before we acknowledge their um, donation of $25,000 towards the construction of the Rod House for Shane and family. Mark, if you'd like to come up. hot in here. <laughs> um, thank you everyone. Um, on behalf of my fellow uh, co-workers, sorry, yeah, I guess I'm one of the taller people here. On behalf of my fellow co-workers uh, at Rod Hotels and Resorts and, uh, and the Rod family, um, we are very, very pleased to have been a part of this wonderful project. Um, as a project co-chair, I want to thank you all, the people in this room, that were involved in not only our project, but the other house that's being mentioned here today. Um, uh, I think the, the Shana house, or Sherry, Sherry Wade house was, from what I gather, one of the fastest ones on record to be built. I'm not sure about that, but uh, I would be sure that uh, Habitat Canada probably has their radar set on uh, Scott Conway over here for <laughs> The guy never stopped. Um, anyway, I'm sure he's uh, very much needed some other projects across Canada for Habitat. Um, um, when, when we got involved in this project in March, um, we had no idea the, uh, how positive the experience it was going to be. Um, I want to thank Susan and Mario uh, for allowing us to be involved in this. Thank you very much. Um, it's been an honor and a privilege to meet all the volunteers with Habitat and the staff, just a, an amazing group of people. Um, it's been an honor and a privilege to have uh, given our co-workers and some of the suppliers we deal with the chance to work together sort of outside of the workplace and to use their hands and their hearts um, to build a very special permanent home that's going to be a part of this community for a very, very long time. Um, we had as many as 600 employees throughout the Maritimes participate in the building of this home uh, in one way or another. Uh, some raised money, some, um, some swung hammers, some held up gyp rock, if that's the proper word, Scott, hung, hung drywall, sorry, um, and some uh, helped build a baby bar. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, I have to honestly say that uh, every person at Rod's totally enjoyed the experience and uh, it will surely be one that we will never, never forget. Um, I personally felt that I made some, uh, some, some great friends throughout this whole process, um, particularly the, um, the Sherry Wade family, uh, Shana, Chanel. Connor and Scott, of course, I can't forget that. Um, what a great bunch of people. Um, it's just, it's been great for us. Um, in closing, you all should be very, very happy of a job well done. And I think we all deserve a, a great round of applause for, for these two beautiful homes and these two beautiful families. And finally, I just want to say congratulations to Sherry and uh, congratulations on your, on your beautiful new home. I hope you uh, thoroughly enjoy it. it. Okay. 
here is the fellow who makes the restore work. And he's going to say some thank yous as well. Mario Zambonin. Just a quick correction to what Rob said. I don't make the restore work. It's my 20 to 25 volunteers that show up day in, day out that make the restore. The success that it is without them, I'm nothing. I don't normally like coming up to talk after Sue because usually there's nothing left to say and we're so far behind that I'm getting the hurry up, hurry up mode. But uh, the support of these businesses and persons that have helped with these two homes happen and Habitat PI wants to express genuine appreciation to them. Bluefield High School, CGC, Osprey, Pennsylvania, Schneider Electric, Dow Chemical, Wolseley Canada, Gullivan, Allen McDonald Plumbing, Kings County Construction, William Murphy McLeod, A Plus Electric, Canada Mortgage and Housing, ICI Canada, Owens Corning, Shamrock Trust PEI, Whirlpool Canada, Amco, Hanson Electric, Island Coastal, Service Master, Kenny Richards, Kenny Richards Plumbing, Advanced Rental, GD Construction, and Eastlink with thanks to Kim Champion. Also, helpful discounts from Central Roadways, Kent Building Supplies, Nedco, EJ's Concrete, Campbell's Concrete, Waz Construction, Advanced Air Systems, Gary Boudreaux's Drywall, Moore Welling and Drilling, Shamrock Trust PEI, Arsenal's Eve Dropping, Cat Rentals, Paul's Concrete Finishing. You'll find a list of them on the back of your program and if you get a chance, please support these people that have supported us over the years to help build our houses across PEI. Thank you. With that long list, you get an idea of how many organizations and people pitch in to make houses happen. And that's particularly true of the volunteers. We're about to thank them. And by my count, well over 200 people volunteered time and work and talents into these two homes. Uh, can, is Brittany here? Brittany, come on up and say a few words of thanks to the volunteers at the Mermaid Build. Brittany was the coordinator getting volunteers together. Hi, everyone. Uh, first of all, I just want to say thank you to everyone for coming and sharing in the special day with these two amazing families. Uh, for the past four weeks for me have been incredible like just like I'm sure it has been for everyone else in this room this incredible experience could not have been possible without the help of our volunteers 145 people registered online for this build the huge outpour of help has truly been incredible I just want to take the time to send out a big thank you to everyone who has swung a hammer, picked up a paintbrush, or put a bat of insulation up. Any job that you helped with it was greatly appreciated. The help went also beyond the job site of, and swinging hammers. I want to also extend a huge thank you to everyone who prepared a meal or provided a de uh, de dedication. Anyone, of any, none of this would have been possible without you as well. Finally, I'd like to say thank you to Habitat for Humanity. I'm so grateful to have been a part of this with this bill for such an amazing family. Thank you again to everyone for coming out and participating. You should all be very proud of yourself and give yourselves a big pat on the back. Hi everyone. Uh, most of you know the Janelle Stewart home was built by Bluefield students and Leo McDonald and some of his students are actually here if they want to just kind of put their hand up and let us know over there in the back hiding. <laughs> Back in September, Leo McDonald, the carpentry instructor at Bluefield High School, approached Habitat and asked how his, there were any opportunities for his students to get involved with Habitat. Um, after some discussion, that's when the idea came up of Habitat providing the materials to the students and the students building the home for Janelle Stewart and her family. Um, it wasn't just the carpentry class that got involved, the whole school was invited to volunteer their time. The English class did posters, computer science did floor plans, as well as um, teachers and students 
um, were able to come out after school and on the weekends to paint the home as well as the trades parents they volunteered their time to do the electrical and the plumbing um, Aiden Bryan the uh, student union president he kind of took on a little PR role and came up with a Facebook page to keep everyone kind of up to date. Um, the community got really involved. They were interested, asking questions all the time. Aiden actually took the restore truck to the prom walk-in, which is a big deal at Bluefield. It was a little package delivered to his day. Pretty cute. Um, I tried to get that video on the slideshow, but a little challenge with technology. So it's on YouTube. <laughs> Um, so I just want to thank all of the students and their families and the community for volunteering their time and all their hard work towards this home and we hope to build on this relationship in the future. So thank you. The organization which builds a Habitat home uh, has a special sort of volunteer and that is a group of people who form what they call the build committee and these are folks who undertake responsibility it's easy frankly for many of us to say i'll go out and wield a hammer for an afternoon but people who take on the responsibility of leadership i think deserve a special tribute people who say i will take care of organizing the publicity or organizing the 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 uh, refreshments, the amenities. I will, like Brittany McCauley did, organize volunteers. These folks do an awful lot to make it possible. So I think, can we just say thanks, Build Committee? <laughs> One other uh, mention of a special guests. Would you believe we, uh, we want to say hi to the grade two class at Surrey Consolidated? with their teacher, Debbie Rogers, and principal, Sharon McIntosh. They had a very special experience with Shana a little while ago, and we just want to say hi to the grade two class. We have a couple of symbolic gifts. I'm gonna call on Sarah Fletcher, who's a member of the Habitat uh, PEI board to present a basket. Uh, I'm honored to present this basket as a symbol of the hospitality that you'll now be able, able to offer in your new home. Uh, it's homemade apple jelly, bread, and juice, and I hope your home is a place of good cheer and fellowship. <laughs> It is a basket of bread, juice, and homemade apple jelly to uh, symbol symbolize all the hospitality and the times you're going to have in your new home. Thank you. And it always be full of fellowship and family. Thank you very much. Thank you. The word community creeps into a lot of habitat speaking, and I think it's... Uh, it's good to emphasize that these homes become, they are a part of the context of a community, so it's appropriate. We have welcome to the community for the two new homes. First off, I'm going to ask MLA for the district, Bush Dumville, to come and welcome Janelle to the West Royalty area. <coughs> Colleagues Alan McIsaac, Olive Crane, uh, Councillor Cecil Villard, distinguished guests, and most importantly, boys and girls. It's all good to see you here this afternoon. I was uh, really, really pleased when uh, Bob and Mark Thompson called me and said there's uh, a home in Kenwood Circle that's uh, in, in the district of West Royalty Springvale, and it would be nice if you could be here to say a few words. And, uh, and that is, I, I really appreciate it uh, being called and being here today with such a wonderful group. It's a wonderful organization and I, I want to congratulate all the uh, sponsors and the people that are responsible for putting this wonderful program together. And I'd also like to uh, well, uh, congratulate uh, Sherry Wade and, and especially Jeanette 
Janelle Stord, who is uh, who is on Kenwood, going to be on Kenwood Circle now, and welcome her to the community of West Royalty, and uh, look forward to uh, having you in our community. And uh, it's 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 just a wonderful wonderful speak uh, feeling to be here today and see such a turnout for such a wonderful cause. Minister McIsaac, uh, Leader of the Opposition, Olive Crane, uh, MLAs, the Wade Conway family, Stewart family, volunteers, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, it's my pleasure here this afternoon on behalf of Mayor Clifford Lee and members of City Council to be, <clears throat> to be invited to speak here this afternoon. Personally, uh, we, get to, uh, we get lots of invitations to go out and speak at various events, but I want to say personally, I was really pleased to be invited to come and say a few words here today. There are at least two families with us today who will never forget this event, and I'm sure many of us will be touched with this afternoon's dedication and the example of the community supporting other members of the community. On behalf of the City of Charlottetown, I want to thank community-minded sponsors and dedicated organizers and volunteers who've worked tirelessly to make this dream come true for two families. Today, Sherry Wade, Scott Conway and their family will be given the keys to their new home in Mermaid and Janelle Stewart and her family will receive the keys for their habit at home in West Royalty. Each family has invested hundreds of hours of sweat equity into their homes. They've worked hard to get to this point, long tied hundreds of volunteers, including the students of Bluefield School and the employees of Rod Hotels and Resorts. While, we're making, <coughs> while remarking the completion of these two homes at this event today, I also want to recognize the great work of Habitat for Humanity on Prince Edward Island that they've been doing since 1999. The organization is, is committed to improving the lives of families by helping them to achieve their dream of a new home. Thanks to people like Rob Thompson, who've given so much of their own time to Habitat, 38 homes on PEI have been constructed, and each of those has changed the life of an island family for the better. I'm sure you will join me in applauding Habitat for Humanity and congratulating the two families with us today. As a counselor for Ward 7, I want to direct a special message to Janelle and her family. Welcome to the finest ward in Charlottetown. I kind of agree with that. I live in Ward 7 too. <laughs> uh, how about Olive Crane? Here is the MLA, the member of the Legislative Assembly, for the area of Mermaid into which Sherry and her family are moving. A pleasure to have you. Thank you so much. Thank you, uh, Rob, uh, Minister McIsaac, uh, MLA Bush Dunville, Councillor uh, Cecil Villard, and most importantly, uh, the Wade and also uh, Stewart families. Ladies and gentlemen, and the Board of Directors of Habitat for Humanity. Well, I love welcoming people to the great district of Morel Mermaid, and especially families. Uh, families are so important, as is community. And uh, everyone knows, in particular, uh, the Wade family has had a very tough and trying year. But I hope you feel the love and support of all the community, not only in Morel Mermaid, but all of Prince Edward Island. Uh, it's indeed a pleasure. I'd like to also thank uh, Habitat for Humanity, the many volunteers. I'm looking at Mark Rod. Uh, I've only gotten to know this man in the last several months, and he's an incredible individual. And um, I think the other thing I should mention is uh, I was one of the people that wanted to volunteer to help build your home. And about three weeks ago, I was actually supposed to show up and help with the landscaping. Unfortunately, uh, that was at the same time of the passing of my dear mother, Margaret, and I wasn't able to do that. So I thought I better not, uh, not contribute in some way. So yesterday afternoon, I went outside to our lovely blueberry farm and I handpicked some blueberries for you to enjoy. I also did the same thing for the Stewart family. Uh, and uh, it's a way of saying welcome. It's a way of saying you're part of a big community. And uh, it's a pleasure to be here today. And I look forward to dropping in to see you and have a cup of coffee with you. And perhaps I'll bring a blueberry pie. Anyway, thanks so much. Uh, 
Michel or Mike Legere is going to come and present the manuals from CMHC, the homeowner's manual. Mike is uh, the uh, community development section uh, of the regional office of CMHC. He's come from across the water to experience Prince Edward Island on a nice summer's day. Thanks, Rob, very much. Um, I guess first and foremost, I really want to, uh, to congratulate Sherry and Janelle on your, uh, your new homes and your respective families as well. Uh, I can, uh, we had a little chat beforehand and um, I just bought a house. So I can, you know, I can really appreciate the, the, the pleasure and the joy you're gonna get from going into these new homes. It's not my first, I hope it's my last. Um, I'm in the process of moving myself and as we talked about earlier, it's, uh, it's, it's quite a chore, but um, the, the, really the purpose of, the, of my being here today is to share with you the, uh, the homeowner's manual. And I want to impress upon you that this is probably the single biggest investment that you're going to make in your lives. So it really matters that you take you know, good care of your home and at CMHC we're glad to provide uh, the, uh, the home maintenance manual for you. We're always, our doors are always open to provide advice if there's any time you need assistance with anything. Winter's coming on, there's a section there on seasonal maintenance. So I'll ask you to come up now and we'll make the presentation. Janelle and Sherry, you can both come up at the same time. building is done, now's the time to make this house a home. And when you make a house a home, you personalize it with things that are yours and things that are special to this occasion. The Lady Slipper Needle Arts Guild has, one of our members has designed a sampler specific to Habitat, and members of our group have stitched it, framed it, and we're now ready to present it, so I will show you what it looks like. Nice. And it has the Habitat symbol, it says home sweet home and built with love for the Stewart family. Whoops. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> and yours is exactly oh, the same, same, but it says Wade. <laughs> That's good. Congratulations. everyone again. The Salvation Army uh, Quilts for Tots is a, a group of women actually, women so far, uh, who meet frequently to sew quilts for families in need. Uh, now I've been involved with them, this is going to be my third Christmas that I've been involved with them and uh, we have such fun there. All our quilts are made with donated fabric, donated thread and donated quilt batting. So this year we decided to donate a quilt to each Habitat family receiving a home. And um, I would like to say that we are a very small group of women so far. <laughs> and, um, but last Christmas we managed to uh, give out about 50 quilts to families in need. So I have Rob's permission here to uh, um, ask you all if anyone would like to join us for sewing lessons, uh, for quilting, for sewing in general, we would dearly love to talk to you. Um, anyway, now um, Captain Elaine Locke and Bonnie Ellis, who's way back in the back there, we're going to come down and, and give out the quilts. We will not ask Sherry and Janelle to come up again. <laughs>
Thank you very much to the Salvation Army and the Quilt for Tots program. <laughs> Valerie Doherty is the Minister for Affordable Housing for the province. She's also a person who personally volunteered, uh, dedicating a day's work. She's also not here. Uh, she, on Friday, has been called away to a family death in Ontario. So she apologizes for not being here. But she has arranged that we have a very appropriate person in her place representing the province because the Honorable Alan McIsaac is not only the Minister of Education, he's not only a former board member of Habitat for Humanity, but he also even lives in Mermaid and so is a fairly decent neighbor, I guess, for Sherry. <laughs> Alan. Well, thank you very much, Rob, Honorable uh, Olive, uh, Emily Bush Dumble, Councillor Cecil Laird. I want to say from f right off the bat that the provincial government, who I'm here to represent today, is very, very pleased to be involved with Habitat for Humanity because it is a super organization. And I know over the last few years, Olive and I may have disagreed on a few things, but I think uh, if you're to ask her, Habitat for Humanity is not one of those. We're full, both fully supportive of that, and uh, that's a great thing. But Habitat for Humanity is something I've been involved in. I started in 2005, and I actually had Rob's job uh, before I get into politics. And this, I think, is one of the most important jobs, because this is where we do the dedication, and we actually, as Cynthia had made, mentioned earlier, start the transition from where everybody here was involved with building a house, we hand over the keys, and the families, the Wade and the Stored families, turn this building into a home and that's what that's what it's really all about I want to point out a couple of little things too and I'm really so excited that the Surrey people could be here because that was actually the start of uh, the Wade build for me is I was invited up to Surrey school as well when the grade 2 class decided they wanted to do something for Shana and her family and they raised uh, some money and got some gifts and stuff and they uh, handed them over to them and in their classroom and I think it's absolutely fantastic and they were invited to come down here and I'm so pleased that they took the time out of their day and made the effort to come down from Surrey because we have some very very young people here who now are members of the Habitat for Humanity family and I'm sure they're going to continue on in that way for many many years to come so I really want to thank you folks for coming down and being involved. I'm not going to take a whole lot of time, but I really want to say again to Mark Rod and all the sponsors, all the volunteers, those who cooked a meal or swung a hammer or whatever it might be, because it is so important. We want to continue on with this. And if you look at the national, from the national level, what has happened here for the little affili affiliate that could, they call us down here, it actually the, it is the little affiliate that does. In our population to have 37, 38 homes <coughs> built already and a real desire to continue to grow that number and help our people it is absolutely fantastic and you are all now members of Habitat for Humanity family I hope you stay involved and continue to come to this and in about two minutes you're going to see the transition this is the part that I really love when you pass the keys over and these people actually get their home and I want to thank you again on behalf of everyone for coming out this is absolutely fantastic and shows great support for the uh, for the families that are here. And uh, all the best in your new homes. I wish you all the best in that. And, and thank you again to everyone for coming out today. Thank you. Before we get to the final symbolisms, I want to say uh, a tribute to two people who had a particular role in making these two homes happen. And that is the construction manager and the assistant construction manager. Don Gray, pain in the arse though he sometimes is, does a fantastic job of making a Habitat home happen. He was very fortunate this year to have somebody who is considerably better looking than he is, Terrell O'Brien, uh, as an assistant. And these two just did a tremendous amount to make these two new homes happen.
with them. Okay. I'll say a couple of things before we present the key. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank Habitat. Uh, first of all, for having the bravery and the courage and believing in us as a Bluefield community. And it was great for the Bluefield community, but it spread like wildfire. The whole community got involved, as they mentioned uh, earlier when their little presentation about their whole school, but also the community. It couldn't go anywhere in our area because uh, I was the teacher, but that was a small part of it, that they made a comment saying how great this project was. And again, this is just a small portion of the students that came or were involved, but it was for the students. So I think we should thank the students of Bluefield. Uh, because it was them that made the house work. And again, I want to thank for not only being part of the house, but being part of the home today, which is a nice symbol as well. So thank you. Stay here, Janelle. Stay here. This is the moment that you have been waiting for. No, it's not. Oh, her publicist has arrived. <laughs> this is the chance for Janelle and then Sherry to, to express what they want to say today. All right, I'm going to get my girls up here too, just so they can experience what this is like up here in front of everybody. <laughs> well, as you all know, my build was a little different. Um, my house was done by the students of Bluefield School, which were, they have done an amazing job. So I would love for Leo McDonald and the kids to come back up here again, please. So for my appreciation, I would love to give you this plaque to put at the Bluefield School for thank you for all the hard work that you've done and being part of my new home. Thank you. Also, there is a few more people besides Bluefield School that worked on the house. There is quite a few that I can't mention them all at this time, but there is a few that I would share to recognize as well. Uh, the Charlottetown Rural, they actually built my cabinets for my home, which are just amazing. Uh, Don and Terrell, can you just come up please? These are the contractors that worked on my house when it was put on the site. And then, of course, my liaisons, uh, Sherry Cheslett and Cynthia McDonald. one other person and that is a very special friend of mine which of course is my boyfriend uh, Peter Matchett he's been working on my house from the beginning to the end And of 
course, can't forget Habitat. If it wasn't for them, it wouldn't, I would not be here with my dream coming true. So thank you for Habitat. And Sue, I have something for you too. And then of course, thank you for everyone that has contributed to my new home and we are very grateful. Your turn, Sherry. She's been waiting to speak for so long. We, we have asked her to keep it under 40 minutes, okay? everybody for everything they've done. It was the most amazing thing I've ever seen, watching that house get built so fast. Get in the microphone. It's good enough. And, um... Um... She's the better speaker. <laughs> okay. um, Mom has uh, stage fright. Yeah. Severely. Big time. Um, of course, we'd like to thank everybody um, a million times. It's been a wonderful experience. Um, it's so good to see everybody really, you know, really show up and help out and be the capable friends and new friends that I know everybody is. Um, Mom has uh, written a couple cards to hand out to a few certain people we'd like to specifically thank. Um, and I I just bought this um, thoughts book. I'm not going to call it a guest book because I just want, um, I was just hoping that everybody could, before they leave, write a little message in the book or um, just even write your name is fine, just so that we can look back on it later and smile. <laughs> so, Mom, who are your cards for? I just want to have a talk about Diane. Um, McLean. Without her there, the volunteers would not have gotten fed and would have not been very happy. Diane, I just want to give you a card. Would you come up, please? Big hand for Diane. Scott, he put in numerous hours, 300 and some, all day, every day, he was there. Come on up, Scott. <laughs> Thanks. And Allison, she's Allison. Where? Oh, there you are who never gave up on me and fought for me to get this house. Thank you so much, Allison. And Sherry, come on up, Sherry. Did you spell it right? Yes, I think so. Same as mine, right? Yeah. Thank you. And Mark, come on up, Mark. Thanks for everything. All your staff volunteering and everything. It's great. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, thanks for coming. Showing up. I was a little nervous. I was like, what are we even doing? No one's going to come. <laughs> um, thanks for everyone that's 
spoke already and made it such a wonderful couple of hours. Now hopefully we get to go munch on some munchies soon. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Okay, so thanks. Mom, mom is so grateful and she shows it so well. Um, <laughs> please sign the book. Thank you. This is the finale, and it's a duty that belongs to Jaden and Connor. They have to come up here and do something. And along with them can come Destiny and Shana and Chanel. We're gonna cut ribbons, guys. And now, go for it. Symbolic or what? I don't know if the rest of you heard what she said. The, the pieces from the ribbon fell on the floor and they formed a heart.